You know, people, when they look at your face, they watch two things. They watch your eyes and they watch your lips. Um, as far as the drag part of it goes, you know, drag is a very familial sort of thing. We adopt each other and, and give pointers and this works out for me and I knew a girl that this worked out for and you should try this and it's that kind of a, a society really or a culture you know right. um, we do get a lot of girls who have twisted their <laughs> husbands or their boyfriends arms to come in here we um, get a few gay guys not that not that many um, and we get stragglers that who have gone to Thames the strip club across the street and maybe that wasn't quite enough for them so they come over here and well, what do they look like, you know? It's a girl, um, strong arms her man to come in here. And they, they show up. He might be very uncomfortable. But I, so. <laughs> I could tell by the fear when you came in. But after a while, he realizes that this is all just fun. We're not here looking for to steal him away from right. her. Of course, a lot of them would like that. <laughs> you know, they're not looking for that. They're like, they think, oh, this is fun. And there's booze here too. And a whole bunch of drunk women. What, you know, what a better place to be. So the fun element is yeah. really important. When you can make somebody laugh, that overcomes everything. In fact, they should just dispatch a whole army of comedians to the Middle East there and have a great damn time. I'm sure people would get over themselves real quick. Real quick. <laughs> yes. But it's, also, it's always good to see them when they first get in and how nervous they are and how much they relax and enjoy the experience once they get in. Um, I want Lips to be known for it. For number one, the entertainment value of this restaurant is this place is really somewhere where people out of the ordinary that people can come and let their hair down and have a really good time. Um, there are no barriers, there's no stereotypes, there's nothing. You come in and you have an awesome time. No matter who you are, where you come from, you can have a good time here. You know, most people are real, very apprehensive when they come in, but everybody at the end of the night has a wonderful time and they always leave saying, this is the best time I've had here. Um, the second thing that I would like Lips to be known for is I would love to Lips to be able to open the eyes of people who are not so welcoming of this lifestyle or, or this um, genre of entertainment. I would like this for, for this to be an eye opener for them to, to for them to be able to explore it and to be able to see you know what a wonderful experience this is instead of being so close minded because it's something different than what they usually are see or know. The smiles on people's faces and seeing them just so happy and for them to escape into our fantasy world. No longer do they have to worry about their rent their car breaking down, you can come here and see entertainment, real entertainment, real talented people, makeup artists. We're makeup artists, we sing, we dance, um, we talk feminine, or we talk slow. But it, you know, we're just a bunch of uh, entertainers who want to take you on a ride and make you escape from all your problems. That's the best part, escaping <laughs> from your problems. <laughs> It's just really funny sometimes, you know, as entertainers, we like to play a role of, you know, like playing really uh, seductive or flirty with the boys sometimes. And some of the girls will be like, get in the little man. Oh, you're enjoying that too much. <laughs> it's really funny. It's really funny. And to top all of that off, we always say, if that's not enough drag for you, every Sunday morning, it's Sunday Gospel Brunch.